Hey everybody, it's Ramona here from Connect Your Angels and uh, here in Canada we're celebrating Labor Day weekend, a nice long weekend. So I hope whatever you're up to, you're having a great weekend as well. This is going to be the reading now for September the 3rd through to the 9th already. Uh, so I thought I would work again with the fairy deck this week. Here they are. Uh, we had so much fun working with that deck last week, so let's go ahead and shuffle the deck and we'll choose three cards, as we always do. One for the beginning of the week, one for the middle, and one for the end of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. For the beginning of the week. Middle of the week. And the end of the week. Okay, so for Monday, Tuesday, whoa, we have easy does it. You see that? Easy does it. It says, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. This is really important because a lot of times we think the more control we exert on a situation or the more involvement we have in a situation, the more that ensures that it's going to work out really, really well. But what happens sometimes is we're holding almost too tight. It's choking the situation. Sometimes it's necessary to take two, three steps back and to relinquish some of that control or delegate some of that with others because, you know, sometimes their input may show you a new or better way of approaching the situation than you even thought of. So. The other thing that, that's coming through is if you're stuck with something right now and you just kind of can't problem solve through something or you just need to figure something out, um, try to go outside on Monday, Tuesday. Get out in nature, go for a walk. Even if it's just on your lunch hour, if you could get out of the office building, get outside. If there's a tree nearby or some parks or something, go there. Um, because often when you're outside, you will get that new burst of creative inspiration or you'll see You'll see the forest for the trees finally. It, you'll be able to come to some better understanding of how to approach that situation or a new way of looking at it that maybe you hadn't seen before. So that's the message that's coming through for the beginning of the week. Again, it's um, easy does it. There we go. All right, so for the middle of the week, this is for now uh, Wednesday, Thursday. The card is, sorry, do some research. I'm going to back this up a little bit. Do some research and I'll read the message on it. It says, you need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding. So you're probably chomping at the bit to move forward with something, but you don't quite have all the information yet. So the angels are urging you to do some research, do some due diligence, check into things a little bit more. And in doing so, you may be straying from the path that you had originally intended or the way that you had originally planned for yourself, but know that it's okay to go off that path um, because you're being guided that way. So uh, even though you think you have all the answers right now, you know, you might start feeling some hesitancy if you're feeling pulled to go in another direction, but that's their way of nudging you back to where you actually need to be. So that know that it's okay um, to pursue whatever it is you're after, but going down a different route. Um, so yeah, so you may need to read up on things. You might need to talk to a few more people. Um, just check into everything and make sure you've covered all your bases before making any kind of decision. Okay, for the end of the week, we have uh, assertiveness. There it is, I'll back it up a little bit. Oops, there we go, assertiveness. And I'll read you the message on that card. This is for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. And we've had this card recently and it's coming through again. And this is about, for a lot of us, September is really the new year, especially if you have kids in school. Anyways, for me, I've always associated September with new beginnings, fresh starts, time to set goals, to set new strategies for things. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you, um, it's a really busy time of year and it's easy to get a lot of stuff heaped on you. If you work, you probably have noticed that through the summer months, things slow down a little bit and then everybody is geared right up again, gung-ho to get stuff going come September. So you may be finding a lot of stuff is being piled on your plate. And uh, to know right now that it's okay and it's healthy 
to say no to some of those things and especially in terms of taking on things with regards to extra volunteer responsibilities maybe if your kids are in school and the school needs extra help that's not to say you're never going to volunteer you're never going to help but for right now don't feel pressured that you need to do that especially if you just know deep in your heart that you know your resources are being spread thin already and that right now you just can't really take on anything else so it's about setting some healthy boundaries and sticking to them and knowing that that's okay it's not making you a bad person it's actually probably making you um, very admirable in the eyes of other people who wish that they could you know do the same thing so you'll be a bit of a role model for other people so that's it uh, uh, just quickly last thing here housekeeping um, if you are in the Calgary area I still have a few more spots open for my International Angel Day workshop that's taking place next Sunday so that will be September the 9th down at the Our Angels Center for Wellbeing in Marta Loop um, during the workshop we're gonna learn your guardian angels names we will uh, talk about the archangels and their specialties you'll learn how to understand angelic guidance what does it look like what are, what are you supposed to be you know keeping your eyes open for um, and how to understand the signs that they give you we'll also talk about um, you know get learning to tune into that guidance and we'll do a great meditation we're going to call in all the archangels and go through healing based on each one's specialty that they have. So at the end of that, I have some time. Oh, here comes my son, Devin. <laughs> um, at the end of that meditation, we're going to do some journaling so that people can you know, ask a question of their angel and see what they get. So all this is taking place, as I said, next Sunday, September the 9th. So if you're interested, you can uh, register at the store. The phone number is 403 two two six seven six six five and i hope to see some of you there next sunday everybody have a wonderful week and we'll talk again soon bye bye